What's going on gamers? Today, we're going to go over how to install Apple skins onto your Apex server. Before we get into this tutorial, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can get notified of all our tutorials we upload just like this one. Minecraft food and saturation are pretty vague and unexplained. Not a lot of people are aware of the exact values or what even are hunger points, and what determines how slowly you lose them. How can you tell what food gives you what saturation? All of these are great questions with no real answers unless you go to the wiki, and we definitely don't want to do that. Introducing Apple Skins, a lightweight mod meant to fix this issue with as little pain as possible. In today's video, we're going to give you the information you need on how to install the Apple Skins mod onto your Apex server. Before we go into downloading the mod, you are going to need to download Forge and install it onto your device. We've already made a tutorial on how to do this. You can check out the tutorial in the links below the video. In the description of this video, we're leaving a link to this Apple Skins Purge Forge webpage. On the webpage, if you click on File, you're going to see why we recommend CurseForge for everyone. Because you can organize by game version, fabric or forge, and so much more. If you click on View All, and you click on Game Version, then you can go ahead on any game version of Minecraft that Apple Skins has to offer. That's right. From the first version of Apple Skins to the newly updated 1.17. Once you've selected your version of Minecraft, that's for Forge, what you're going to want to do is click the orange button to the right of the file. This, of course, is going to take you to a page where you have to download the file. On this page, you're going to have to wait about 5 seconds for the file to download. Once the file does download, you then, of course, are going to have to make sure that you keep that file and that you click and drag it to a folder where you can easily locate it later on. And to install the mod client side, what we're going to do is open up a folder where you previously had the file downloaded to. Then you're going to hit the Windows key and type in percent app data and then percent again with no spaces and then hit enter or click that folder. Once a folder opens up, look for the dot Minecraft folder and then double click it. Then double click the mods folder in this folder. Just click and drag the file from the folder that we downloaded it to earlier and then drop that mod into the mods folder. And once the Apple Skins jar is in your mods folder, then you can just open up Minecraft. Once Minecraft is opened up, make sure to click the Forge profile to play Minecraft on. Then you can just click play and launch Minecraft with Apple Skins installed. To get Apple Skins installed onto your server, what you're gonna wanna do is head to your server panel. And now that you've got it installed client side, we can install it on our server. We're gonna start this process by heading down to jar file selection. Here on the dropdown, go ahead and click on it and then type F-O-R-G-E. Our servers are on 1.16.5 and that's what we're gonna select because it's compatible with our version of Apple Skin. Make sure to select that version and create a new world to avoid any errors. Make sure to restart your server now so that you can make all the Forge files populate. Then once your server is fully up and running, you can go ahead and stop your server. Once your server stop, go ahead and click into FTP file access. And of course, log in with all of your information. And once you're here, go ahead and head to the mods folder. In the mods folder, you're going to want to click on upload. Then you're going to want to open up that folder and click and drag your Apple Skins file to the right side of the page and just drop it. Once it says 100% and uploaded one out of one files at the bottom, you can click on your name or the server's name at the top of the page. And from here, you can either start or restart your server to get your server up and running. To check up on this process, you can jump into console on the left part of the page and just watch your server restart. And if it fully restarts, then you'll know that your server will have started up with Apple Skins installed.
Apple Skin works by giving you the information on your heads-up display on your screen. Next to the hearts, there's a little line of chicken nuggets. If you eat something, at least with apple skins, it'll give you some regular chicken nuggets just like vanilla and some golden ones. The regular ones tell you where your hunger's at. And the golden ones tell you where your saturation is at. Doing actions is going to take your saturation until it takes away your heart points. So doing something like running around, jumping around, and other stuff is going to take away your saturation points and eventually your heart points. You can see these values when you hover your mouse over them in game. Cooked items are obviously going to have more than uncooked items. Therefore, saturating you with more than uncooked foods. And if you don't eat enough or if you're not saturated enough, you can of course go into hunger like you would in regular Minecraft. This mod just makes it so that you can tell what point of these stages you are at. Whether or not you have a full belly or you're literally dying of survey. Well folks, that's all there is to it. Apple Skins is a really simple mod that aims to fix a small problem of there being very little information on the food and saturation system. Although we'd like to believe vanilla Minecraft is enough, sometimes it just isn't. And Apple Skins is a clear example of how Minecraft can be improved dramatically with simple changes to quality of life. With that being said, we hope you learned something new today, and we hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more great content like this, then subscribe or click these videos. Until next time, gamers.